Hi, boys and girls. Happy Easter. Um, I keep saying happy Easter for all these segments because, of course, I would say happy Easter. It's such a joyous day. Um, I hope you're having fun celebrating. And one way to celebrate Easter is with an Easter egg hunt. You can't have Easter without a good old-fashioned Easter egg hunt. So I provided eggs for each of you, um, and it's simple instructions. Ha ask mom or dad to hide them around the house, and um, then if you have brothers and sisters, hide them all together. And then when um, find a basket, if you have your own Easter basket, or actually the bag that the um, eggs came in will work just as fine. And then when they say go, run around and try and find all of the eggs. Um, and there will be little goodies in there for you. And you might ask, why do we hunt Easter eggs? That's a good question, and there's a lot of history in that. But one thing that I want to bring up is um, that we use the egg as a symbol of new life. And during some of the other segments, I talked about new life. Um, and that Jesus gives us new life, and that he rose from the dead and had new life after the uh, after he was crucified, and on Easter he rose from the dead, um, which is so one extraordinary thing that we celebrate on Easter. Um, and then he gives us new life by forgiving our sins. Um, but in addition to that, when we open an egg, well, here I have candy, but after you take the candy out, the egg can symbolize the empty tomb. When the two Marys um, and the other couple of women went to the tomb, they were going to prepare Jesus's body. Um, they didn't have a chance to do that before because um, it was the, um, what do you call it? Oh, I was going to say Passover. Um, Sabbath. It was the Sabbath. Um, and they couldn't work on the Sabbath. So they, they came back to prepare his body, but they found an empty tomb. And that was, uh, and then they saw an angel, and the angel told them that Jesus was actually alive. So the empty tomb is a big symbol of Easter, that Jesus is risen and is no longer in the tomb. So the Easter egg can remind us of that empty tomb. Um, it also reminds us of a new life because eggs give life. Um, if this was a real egg that had been fertilized, um, then it could have a little baby chick in it and when the chick breaks out of it you have this little live baby chick which is a wonderful symbol of new life as well um so just from think of the egg as a symbol of our of the empty tomb as well as a symbol of new life and go out and have fun um collecting all those easter eggs and i hope you enjoy all the little goodies that are inside because we have to have some fun and some treats on easter as we celebrate jesus um, so I hope you have a good time with that. And now one thing on our, um, lesson that I want to make sure we read is an Easter prayer. We've been doing a prayer exploration all through March. We're now in April. So in April, I thought it would be fun to, um, just write out or include some prayers that, um, other people have written to just give us an idea of different ways that um, people express themselves through prayer. So this one is called an Easter prayer, and it says, God made you and God made me. He made the world for us to see. God loves you, and long ago he sent his son to tell us so. Jesus showed us many things to love and share and dance and sing, to learn and pray, to help and care. He promised he'd always be there. He died, but then came back to life. Let's celebrate, for he's alive. Amen. I love that prayer. I hope you do too. It is in your lesson plan, so please share it with your family and friends um, this Easter and throughout the year. Um, it's never a wrong time for an Easter prayer celebrating um, that God is with us and loves us and gave his son for us. So have a wonderful Easter, and I can't wait to see you, um, whether it's on video or in person. Um, we are doing some in-person Sunday school starting, I was going to say September, but it would be April 11th. 
Um, so I hope to see some of you then, but um, keep doing our at-home Sunday school. We're going to do it through May, um, just before Memorial Day, so almost the end of May. So until next week, have a wonderful week, and until then, bye.